walking is a natural fix. Rather counterintuitively, the farther that I go, the more I want to slow down. It seems to be the perfect speed, for me at least. I think my brain works at three miles an hour. As much as I like walking for an hour or for a day, I enjoy it most when it becomes more of a lifestyle than a diversion. And I think if you really want to experience something, you've got to become completely immersed in it. And walking's just the best and the easiest way to do that, so that every sight, sound and smell becomes unavoidable. There's no escape and it's as real as it gets. It might seem silly or dangerous or just very difficult to try and walk a thousand miles anywhere, but particularly so in the Middle East. I see myself as a storyteller and I like to find stories from places that are maybe misunderstood or underreported. And so the whole Middle East fascinates me, partly because of its rich history as the seat of the three monotheistic religions, but also because I discovered there were multiple initiatives to build new hiking trails in the West Bank and Jordan and Sinai. And so I could walk not just along ancient trade routes and in the footsteps of the pilgrims and Bedouin who've sculpted the landscape, but I could also be part of a new movement to bring recreational hiking to a landscape that is absolutely perfect for it. There's a great connection, I feel, between walking and thinking and writing and an obvious theme of people who have set out to create something by first starting out on foot. There's nothing particularly special that allowed me to do it. I find that the physical side came naturally after a while and I found a place that was much more varied than I could ever have expected. I went from a freezing cold winter to a boiling hot summer through the rolling green hills of the West Bank, the Mediterranean-esque olive groves of Northern Jordan, and then down into these huge, vast canyons and wadis and out across the deserts of Sinai. There's an innate sense of hospitality, and I was looked after by people of all religions, all ethnicities. And I find that the stories that people told and the lives that they live sits very naturally alongside the 10,000 years of history on the grounds, but also with the faith and culture and modern day politics alongside it. Now, more than ever in my lifetime, I feel a sense of a growing culture of fear, a fear of different people and of different ideologies and a fear of the other. And I think a way to combat that is to explore and celebrate our diversity and heritage. And so for me, that's one of the frontiers of adventure and exploration in this day and age, is to show how we're more similar than we are different. And to do that on foot in the Middle East, in one of the safest places I've ever been, seems a perfect place to start.